Today, I'm gonna to show you three easy ways on how to get your workspace looking like a million lumens. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys three different conversion methods, a plug and play, a ballast bypass, and a direct wiring method to add new light fixtures. That way, if you're converting or adding new light fixtures, we will cover it all. And you can throw those old strobing fluorescents away and step into the age of LED. All right, guys, here we go. First method is going to be your plug and play. You just got to make sure that you're buying the hybrid tube. This tube basically can just plug into your light fixture without having changed the ballast or rewiring anything. But you do need to consider the type of light fixture that you have. So Parmita actually lists out the compatible light fixtures that you have. My light fixture is not on there. However, that doesn't mean you have to rewire it. It just means that they haven't tested the transformer or the ballast that you're actually using in the light fixture. So we're gonna test it right now and see what happens. But if that doesn't work, I'm gonna show you guys how to bypass that ballast and you can still use these tubes. So let's do it. The first thing you wanna do is remove the old fluorescent bulbs from the existing light fixture. Then grab yourself a plug and play TA bulb from Parmita, install it into the old fixture, give it a turn to activate the connectors, and that is it. Literally, that's it. And now we're gonna just turn it on and see if it works. And that's how easy it is. I literally just took out the fluorescent bulbs, put in LEDs, and I'm good to go. But let's say this didn't work and we have to bypass the ballast. Super easy, let me show you how. The next example is gonna be the dual-ended ballast bypass. After removing the bulbs, you wanna take the fixture cover off, which is gonna give you access to the ballast and all of its wiring. Make sure the power is off to the lights and double check it with a meter if you have one. Before doing any wiring, I always mark the power wire with a piece of tape. This way it makes it easier to remember which wire is your load coming in. Then I take the light down, but you can always do it connected to the ceiling. For me, it just makes it easier that way. On one side of the ballast, you're gonna have two wires running to the tombstones and a black and white wire feeding your power. You wanna cut all those off. Next, strip the two wires going to the tombstones and connect your neutral wire that comes out of your ceiling. Make sure you put your wire nut on tight and secure it with a little bit of electrical tape. This way you know it's never gonna come apart. So now you have tombstones on one side connected to a neutral. Now on the other side of the ballast, cut all the wires going to the tombstones, fully disconnecting the ballast. Then I strip all of them like on the other side and add the power or load wire to them. Twist all of them tight and secure them with a wire nut and some tape. And that's pretty much it. You have one side connected to the power and the other side connected to neutral. It's that simple on a double-ended connection on an old fluorescent light fixture. This way you get the benefits of an LED without having to purchase a brand new fixture. So now all you have to do is just add your ground wire with the green screw to the fixture, add your Parmita hybrid or direct wire bulb, and you have double-ended LED brightness. But let's say you want to do a single-ended connection on an old fixture that's double-ended. Too easy. Pick one side of the fixture to be your connection side. I'm going to be using the blue side or the side with the blue wires and cut them off on that side long enough so you can work with them. The rest of the wires from the ballast can be eliminated. We're not going to use them at all. Then you can either leave the ballast inside the fixture or you can unscrew it and remove it and dispose of it properly. Back on the power side, we gotta make sure that the tombstones that were originally in the light fixture are not shunted. And the best way to do that is with a voltmeter. If we get a tone, that means that they're shunted and we're gonna have to replace them with a new set. Oh wait, it is. Since the old ones are shunted, I gotta replace them. And I got these on Amazon for a couple of bucks and I'll leave a link down in the description below. There's no signal. Since these already came with a neutral wire connected to both tombstones, all we have to do is just add our black power wire. First I cut a short jumper wire and connect it between the two tombstones. Then I take the longer black wire and connect it right next to the black jumper wire. And that my friends is it, this is our single ended connection. The only thing left is to connect the power wires to a power source. 
The only other thing you have to watch out for when installing single-ended connections is you have to make sure that the side of the bulb with the label goes to the power side on the fixture. So label on the bulb goes to the tombstone with the power on it. And that's it. Yep, that easy. Gosh, that's bright. All right, moment of truth. Let's uh, turn the shop on and see what it looks like. All right, here we go. Oh, it is so bright in here. So now I have a total of nine light fixtures, each holding two bulbs. Six of them at 5,000 Kelvin, which give me the brightness that I need. Anybody can do it. I wanna thank Barmita for making this video possible. And if you guys are looking for LED tubing like this or any other lighting, make sure you guys head over to their website and check it out. They have a wide variety of lighting options from interior, exterior, under cabinet lighting, canopy lighting, they have everything. And they have a five year warranty on these lights, so make sure you guys check them out. A little bit of patience and you too can figure it out. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I'll see you guys next time.